In this video, we will explain settings, expectations, and standards related to completing your graded discussion assignments. This course covers student success strategies, but also exposes you to tools like discussions, teaching you how to use them properly now and in future semesters. They provide practice to thoughtfully and thoroughly respond to prompts, demonstrating your understanding of course concepts, and applying them. You also learn how to write meaningful classmate replies, demonstrating that you can interpret their ideas and relate them back to course topics. These are related to course outcomes 1 and 2. Add the default setting to include the original message in your replies. Once set, this will apply to all discussions in this course. Go to Discussions in the navigation bar, choose Settings, and add a check mark to the Reply settings where it says Include Original Message Text in Reply, and Save. You lose points if the original message is not included in your replies. Here is an example of that setting. It stamps your reply with a heading related to the classmate post. It also includes the text from that post. It provides the reader context for your reply. A common error students make is replying after someone's post because they think that is how the conversation should flow. Do not do this. Start typing your reply right at the top where the cursor appears. That is where instructors are looking for your reply. After adding that setting, you can find general directions for the assignment on the discussions page. A link appears with those directions for the question prompts. Note that discussions are not eligible for makeup or late submissions. The directions link takes you to a detailed page of instructions. At the top, it provides the required resources to answer question prompts. Scrolling down, the prompts for your original post, usually four to five questions, are listed. You will also find the specific question prompt for your replies. All prompts for your post and for replies are unique for each discussion. To reduce the need for frequent logins to check for posts, you can subscribe to the discussion that you're working on. It notifies you when someone posts. When that discussion ends, unsubscribe to quit receiving notifications. When you start a discussion, you'll see a down arrow with options, one of which is to subscribe. If you choose the mini bar, the notification shows up only in Falcon Online at the top of your page. If you choose instant notification, you can get an email or a text message. You can set up your notification preferences on your home page under your name and choosing notifications. College level writing is expected for both posts and replies, including spelling, punctuation, capitalization, and grammar. Social networking and text messaging uses shortcuts that are not a part of college level writing, such as emojis and abbreviations. Responses should be full sentences that include explanation of understanding and application of course concepts. Review the Writing Expectations page in content to learn more about these standards. To accurately respond to prompts, review of required resources and completing specific tasks is necessary, such as textbook reading, watching videos, or completing assessments. Copying and pasting the prompts in the message with your replies is recommended to avoid missing any. Read the prompts carefully and answer all parts of each prompt. For example, it may ask you to list something from the resource, but then later in the question it says to describe or explain. You will not see what others post until you post first. You will need to have your own unique and individual perspective posted to the discussion topic before you will see others' posts. Watch discussion examples and common errors for more information. Replies should follow the same standards as posts. Replies are equally as important as your original post. Though it may seem friendly to include things like good luck or great post, they are unnecessary. If you would not include it in an essay, don't include it in your reply. Your reply should include new information, not just a restatement of your classmates' ideas using different words. Whenever you can, include a reference or an example from the textbook, lecture, or online content that relates to their post to expand your explanation. You want to be mindful of how you represent yourself online. 
Consider your tone and the quality of your writing. Discussions are graded writing assignments, just like essays and worksheets. No different than talking in person, you should practice respect and courtesy when communicating with classmates. Discussions do not need to be completed all at once. That often leads to rushing and posting incomplete work of poor quality. Consider completing the assignment in stages. Post your original response, your answer to question prompts, as early in the week as possible. That gives others choices of what to read and respond to. Post your replies throughout the week when you have time to focus and write meaningful responses with detail. Waiting until the due date shortly before the discussion closes to post and or reply results in rarely writing enough detail to satisfy expectations. Discussion assignments take time. Waiting until the last minute to participate in discussions often results in inaccurate, sloppy, unorganized, and unclear posts. Give yourself enough time to post with quality and respond with detail to classmates. Visit these resources for more information. Thanks for watching.